folding a six-sided paper snowflake with Mrs. Swinning. One, you have a square of paper, and you're going to fold it diagonally from corner to corner. It's easier if you hold down the corners when they line up, and then fold it nice and tight. All right, step two is to take this triangle and fold it in half to make a smaller triangle. Again, hold down the corners, and then use your other hand to flatten the edge. Now this is the hardest part. Make sure that the point is facing away from you. You're going to take the right side of your triangle. You're going to put your finger right up here at the top because that's where your fold needs to stop. So when you fold this over, it's going to go all the way up to the top. You want this triangle that you're making to be about the same size as this triangle that you're going to have left. So this is the tricky part. So make sure it goes all the way up to the top. It's going to go down and over the end of your triangle. So that's your first fold. So again, this triangle needs to be about the same size as this triangle. And then you're going to take the left side and you're going to fold it over so that it meets the edge of the other triangle. So this side is lined up, this side is lined up, and you have a triangle. Now that you have this part of your snowflake, you want the outside of your snowflake to be start as a straight line. So you're going to cut right across the straight line and just cut those two edges off so that you start with a triangle. Now that we have our triangle, we get to make a pretty snowflake. The thing to remember is the top of your triangle, the flat, the longer part of your triangle, is the outside of your snowflake. The tip of your triangle is the very middle of your snowflake. So when you cut the tip off, as my lovely assistant is going to do right now, whatever you cut off of the tip of your snowflake, that is going to be the part that shows up in the middle of your snowflake, like this. All right, now my other lovely assistant will show you how to make the outside of your snowflake different. So she's going to cut a little bit off of the top of the triangle, and that's going to make the outside of the snowflake turn from smooth to a lovely design. One thing to remember is because this paper is folded so many times, it might be a little hard to cut. So it's easier to use the middle part of your scissors instead of the tip of your scissors to cut um, into the folded paper and go up till the piece comes off. And now she's going to open it and show you what happens when you just cut a little bit off of that flat edge. And now the outside of your snowflake isn't going to be flat anymore. Now the outside of your snowflake has a lovely design. Now that we've cut off the tip of our snowflake, which is the middle of our snowflake, and a little bit off of the edge of our triangle, so that the outside of the snowflake is interesting, now it's time to do some more interesting cuts along the sides. Now remember, you don't want to cut off a whole side or your triangle, will, your snowflake will fall apart, because this is what holds the snowflake together, the folded sides. You can cut off quite a bit without losing your sides, but you have to be careful. Again, remember to open those scissors really wide to do this cutting because this paper is folded a lot. It's very thick. So see, I'm going to leave a little bit of edge there before I do my next triangle. Just doing triangles. One side and then the other side. Just doing triangles makes a very nice snowflake. I'm going to do a little bit of triangle right there in the middle which is the tip, so now the tip of my snowflake is going to look a little different. I'm going to cut another triangle. Just a lot of little triangles. We're just cutting off a lot of little triangles. It's going to make a beautiful snowflake. You can cut off corners. That's okay. You can cut off this corner if you want. 
okay? As long as you leave some sides there, some edges that are folded. Let's open it up and see what happened. And there we go, and that's just triangles. Boys and girls, another important thing to remember is while I've been showing you how to cut the snowflake, we've been opening it up and closing it and opening it and closing it so that you can see what happens when you do the cuts. When you are making your snowflake, you should not open your snowflake until you're all done making the cuts. Because once you open it, it can be difficult to refold it because of all the different lines and the different shapes and the different folds. So once you open your snowflake, you're all done. You can't refold it. So make all of your cuts and make sure you're done cutting before you open your snowflake. Have fun.